How serious do you think that this climate crisis would affect Nigeria? Well, I think if we needed a wake-up call, we got it. You know, mm. So despite trying to justify or explain why there was not enough preparedness, we cannot ignore this. And, and one minimum thing that needs to come out of this, apart from helping the 1.4 million people get back to their homes and lives, is to be better prepared for the next time. I, I think so. There is an element of, led by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, improving preparedness for response for a number of different crises, not just floods, but nutrition and, and so on. And then I think the medium to long term is about the Nigerian government being supported in realizing some of its plans that are directly linked to the climate crisis. So to give an example, a few weeks ago or a month ago by now, the energy transition plan was published. And it's very clear that m many people, especially in rural areas, not having enough access to sustainable energy is contributing to this. They're going out deforesting, uh, uh, collecting firewood. And so there is the immediate, there's the early recovery, and there's the investment into better preparedness for response and mitigating and adapting to the climate change. So it's complex. Mm.